That's all. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Thank you, career. Oh, in my face. What are you giving me? He didn't give me shit. Whatever. You know what? For that? Oh, bitch. I I That's what I thought. Boo shit. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the Yarl. The Yarl. I need to ask you to stop. Then. Shouting is making people nervous. Oh shit. Too bad there's more where that came from. Alright, alright, chill. Good. Glad we straightened that out. That's cool. Man. What? Is she fighting someone? Chill out. Chill out. <clears throat> Bullshit. <laughs> Look at this fucker. Come here. Are you serious? Yeah. The white room. About to level, that's always nice. All right, let's sell a few things. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More? Take a look. Um. This is twenty five. Thirty four, okay. Twelve. Um, nineteen to twenty three, goodbye. But it is a lot lighter. Still. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need it. Are there any missions in here that I can do? Uh, I can find the Red Guard woman, that's all I can really do. Retrieve the nettle bone. I never went down here. Whoa, lag, what the fuck? <clears throat> I listen, you did it. You killed the dragon. That's right. Give me some money for it. That's all I want, money. Who else is a little kid? It's not fun getting pushed around all the time. 
Dragon's Reach, talking to the Yarl. <laughs> We're going to have words with the Yarl. <clears throat> All right. Good. You're finally here. The yarl's been waiting for you. It's awful. So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? The Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. Turns out, I may be something called Dragonborn. I killed the dragon, I think I deserve a reward. Hell yeah. There's no question about that. It was a mighty deed. You've earned a place of honor among the heroes of White Run. But there must be more to it than that. Did something <coughs> strange happen when the dragon died? Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Who are the Greybeards? The Way of the Voice. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Greybeards want? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoo or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Didn't yeah. you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, oh. summoning you to High Rothgar. Oh, shit. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybersepted himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragon boy. You hear him? Hate nerves. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. <laughs> These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. Man, no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of White Run. Nice. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia. As a personal house car. Oh shit! And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common you Damn rabble, right. Would we? <laughs> we the Thane, we are baby. <laughs> honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Yes. Back to business, Proventus. Where's my uh, still have a city house to car? Defend. Lydia. Yes, my lord. <laughs> what the fuck, house car? That's my hole, basically. That's what I'm guessing. Um, that's it. He gave me something. What is it that you need? Okay, let's go through these speech challenges real quick. Well, in the old tales, the dragonborn heroes would use the power of their voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. Wolfhearth was dragonborn. Talos, too. The founder of the Empire. Back in the good old days. 
in the very oldest tales, back from when there still were dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. Okay. They're the masters of the way of the voice, of shouting. They live up on top of the throat of the world. If you're really dragonborn, they'll want to talk to you. In the old stories, they always summon the dragonborn for training. Secret training, hell yeah. Who side are you on? If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of White Run. No doubt General Pelias and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. Alright, why do you think Ulfric killed the High King? No doubt, he thought it was the only way to make his point. And also, because he knew he could. How can you protect White Run from dragons? With good planning and constant vigilance. Even now, my court wizard, Ferengar, continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon, courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Mm -hmm. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. Oh, we will be dragon hunting very soon. I got a level. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. The only thing I remember is the old story of Tiber Septum Tiber being called Septum. Dragonborn by the Nords before they switched sides and joined the Empire. No doubt those greybeards up at High Rothgar will talk your ear off about it. Near as I can tell, a bunch of ancient Nord hermits who live on top of a <laughs> mountain. Never heard of them talking to anybody before. If they really do want to talk to you, You'd better go find out what they want. You never know. <clears throat> sure. Still don't have that visit to Dragon's Reach. Let's see if we got any weapons or anything. Um, Axe of White Run. Frost damage, huh? Let's deal with, uh, magic. Got a couple perks. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can do. Uh, 20. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck that. No. See we got in speech. I could do that another level. It's fifteen percent. Stop doing that. Oh my god. I guess the best for now is to do that haggling, so make, you know, get better pricing. We'll deal with that. I can't do it? Oh, it's 18, I need 20, son of a bitch. Alright, well. Uh, lock. Smithing. Chanting. Uh... 
we'll save it. Alright, be back with another video. Mm -hmm.